Hello and welcome to this YCharts 101 demonstration. Today we'll be taking you through the new sharing, alerts, and notification features we've added. Let's start off with alerts. And here we are in our alerts manager tool where you can now search for alerts based on financial metric or security. So let's say we want to look at just alerts pertaining to 50 day simple moving average. By typing that into the box and clicking apply filters, Alerts Manager will whittle down all the alerts you have set up to show just those pertaining to 50-day SMA. We've also added a handy notes feature to alerts, which is particularly useful for reminding yourself what specific action to take on that alert you set up way back when. So a good one for Amazon falling below 30 on its 50-day SMA might be to buy shares. By clicking save and exiting out of the window, that alert will save to Amazon for when it triggers, you'll then receive an email from YCharts as soon as it triggers or on a reduced cadence of your choosing. It's also possible to search for alerts pertaining to one security. So let's look at all the alerts we have set up for our 8020 sample portfolio. And there it is with all the alerts we have set up. It's also possible to create a new alert and add a note all in one fell swoop. So we, for example, want to add drift exceeding 2% as an alert. By clicking create, that will create the alert and we can add a note right then and there to let's say rebalance holdings if that portfolio has a drift of greater than 2%. And once again, you will be reminded by email as soon as that alert triggers or on a frequency of your choosing. Alerts can also be set up on your dashboard as a module and any alerts you have plus their accompanying notes will show up here. Next, let's talk about sharing. One of the great benefits of YCharts is being able to share portfolios, screeners, charts, and a whole lot more with members of your team. Now we've added the ability to include a custom text for when you share something with your team. In this example, you could remind your team to take a look at this particular portfolio by end of day, let's say, and with one click, you can share this portfolio with your team and the note will be included reminding them to take a look at that portfolio. The same can also be done on screener pages, for example. This screen we have on the stock screener can be shared with our team and one fell swoop, we can also ask them to take a look at this screener by end of week. And with, again, with one click, this screener will be shared with members of your team, prompting them to take a look at that screen or whatever note you may choose to include. The last feature to highlight is notifications. In your account settings under user preferences, you now have the option to be more selective when it comes to receiving email notifications. Whether someone shares something with you or a model portfolio needs some review, you can choose to receive any and all email notifications straight to your inbox or none at all if that's what you prefer. But no matter what your selection, you'll always be reminded of notifications up here in your status bar on this notifications icon. When there's a red circle next to it, you have something waiting for you, whether it might be a model portfolio that needs attention or someone on your team shared something with you. So regardless of what emails you choose to receive or not receive, you'll always have that notifications bar waiting for you when something is shared with you or a portfolio needs attention. That's our new sharing alerts and notification features. Please reach out to your support contact if you have any questions or like a bit more guidance in getting these things set up on your account. Thank you.